Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is lovely to see you today. In this video, we are going to be talking about my own personal daily practice. So uh, grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. So I want to start off by saying that this video was greatly inspired by an amazing video by Chaotic Witch Aunt, who is one of my favourite YouTubers. I'll leave a link to that video down below, go and check it out, go and check her out. It'll also be interesting because our personal practices are very, very different. Probably couldn't be more different <laughs> than one another. And that's what I love about witchcraft. You can really tailor it to your interests, your the things that you culturally are into. You can make it as long or as short as you would like. And for some people, it's just as simple as making a cup of tea, stirring it with intention and having a mindful moment before the children start running around and they've got to get ready for work. It can be that simple. I am a disabled woman and I am unable to work and so I can spend a bit longer on my daily practice than most people. So bear that in mind. Don't go comparing my practice to your own. Do what feels right for you but maybe this will give you some ideas and show you what a disabled English witch gets up to. <laughs> Don't forget if you're new here you can click the subscribe button to become part of the butterfly family. We would love to have you. <laughs> we would absolutely love to have you here so make sure you stick around. Leave me a cheeky like and a comment because it helps my channel to grow. But let's get to the content shall we? So one of the main things that I do every day is incense. I love incense. I've got a few different ones, but this is the one that I use in my everyday. It's just dragon's blood. I think I got it from Amazon. I think I did. I think I bought a box with loads of these inside, these boxes. But it's not very expensive. Dragon's blood is great for protection and for getting rid of anything you don't want hanging around. And that's really important to me. I do practice. My altar is right next to my bed. Like... So I need to make sure that everything's clean and looking good. So I definitely like incense. I do have a bowl where I like my incense and that is because I want, as the cones, the little cones burn down, they can then be used to create black salt. So it's just easier to collect it in a bowl of salt and then just grind it up as needed. So that's what I do. Incense is first. Incense is such a great way of, sh of honouring people as well. It's a great way I found I've made up like little incenses myself that is specifically for my ancestors or whoever I'm working with. I'm currently working with Archangel Michael and Diana, Goddess Diana, and also I work with Hecate. Hecate has just made herself known like last week. So I'm really, really new. I have a candle for her and some bits and bobs. Don't have a lot of stuff for her yet and I don't know a lot of information about her yet but I'm really excited to be working with her, transitioning into facing my fears, being braver because I am the least brave person you will ever meet. So I'm hoping that she's going to help me to step out of myself and be a bit stronger. So I do that every single day. I will light incense and just let it burn. I will... I do this kind of thing in front of the <laughs> in front of the incense to cool the incense over me and to get it cleansing me. It's really nice to be able to cleanse yourself. Um, for that, the wand joss sticks are really good. I do struggle to use those though. I prefer cones, so just use what works for you. But I use the cones anyway. <laughs> the next thing I do is I light candles for my deities and for my ancestors. They're all along here on my altar. I have a section for each with pictures and stuff. Um, it's all getting reorganised. I've just done a video about organising my altar and, now, and then Hecate was like, uh, by the way, I'd quite like to work with you and now I've got to reorganise it all again. But I'll leave a link to my altar organising video if you would like to watch that. I think it's really important to light a candle to sit and pray to each person and so I used to light the candle and talk to that to that candle to that being 
one-on-one -on -one, whereas now I tend to light all of them and just have one conversation with everyone and just kind of direct things to each person. It depends on what you need from each person. For me most of the time I'm literally venerating and worshipping I suppose. Quite often I'm not asking for things. If I'm asking for something from them I will give them some coffee. I have some really nice coffee that Asda makes that I bought it's like a little pot of coffee and it's about £2.50 or something and I'll make them coffee which is a really lovely offering to give I also generally on the everyday they get water but then if it's a special day or a weekend they will get sherry because I have a lot of sherry in this house it was just gifted to us a load of sherry and we were like hmm what do we do with this and I was like hmm I can use it on my altar so I'm always one for using what I have so if you don't have that then you can buy wine relatively cheaply. I always try and get the most expensive thing within my budget so I don't like to spend a lot of money on things. I tend to just buy things that I can afford or things that are gifted to me that sort of thing but yeah giving them a gift of incense or some water is more than enough to give us an offering. I know that for my grandmother's birthday we bought some Maltesers because Maltesers were are her favourite and I like wrapped them up in like a little parcel and put them on my altar so it's really a personal thing but on the everyday it's just water that I usually gift and leave on my altar I really love doing that it makes me feel so happy inside I really enjoy that and then I have a pile of oracle cards I have one for Archangel Michael it's by Doreen Virtue uh, I'm not a fan of Doreen Virtue obviously but um, they're really nice cards to work with Archangel Michael I have these oracle cards for my ancestors these are called the, the spirit messages daily guidance oracle deck and then i have queen of the moon for diana um at the moment diana and hecate are sharing these and thankfully they're like they're triple goddess together this doesn't make sense they're triple goddess they're part of they're two out of three in a triple goddess i never know how to explain anyway they work together anyway so it's been working quite well and they'll generally give me two cards uh together they like to throw them on the floor if anybody else has that happen to them from their their gods but yeah they they are working well together but i do have some cards that i would like to buy myself that i have in my wish list on amazon and i'm going to get them next month for hecate pulling an oracle card is a really lovely way of just getting some communication back from them especially if you've asked them a question or asked for some guidance on something they love to get some communication back it's really simple divination shuffle pull a card that's it and I get a lot of information and then I keep them here on my oh my goodness it's all going wrong I keep them here on my desk so I can keep an eye on them and look over them and I keep them on my desk so that I can go back and look at them again later it's a really nice way of just being like I'm going to bed now what did my card say do they hold up after my day that sort of thing I really love doing that so that is something that I love to do. So I have my prayer and everything. And then jewellery is something that I love using as part of my craft. I've talked about this before and I'll probably talk about it again. But uh, I have this beautiful, I got this from Etsy. Can you even see? It's got a stag cut into it. That is for Diana. I have a stag here for Diana as well. Then I have a plain black tourmaline for protection from my family so I wear that for my ancestors I have this beautiful lapis lazuli with angel wings for Archangel Michael and then this is new this is for Hecate and if you can see there's triple goddess the picture of her there it's really nice so I wear them and that is just carrying them with me for the day keeping them on my wrist keeping them around me if I'm nervous or something you might find me playing with them and I can call on them by using them I just really love having jewelry I also have necklaces that are dedicated to them I have a beautiful one that's a stag that I got from Etsy for Diana and I have one for Michael which is um, you can get St Michael pendants and I wear that and I also I'm going to get 
um, I found on Etsy a beautiful Hecate necklace which I'm going to get. So you can find beautiful things to wear. Jewellery is great because you can just throw it on, off you go with your day. And even if I'm not able to do my full work at my altar on any given day, I can in fact just spend some time putting on my jewellery, thinking about it, dedicating my day to them and that is more than enough if I'm going out somewhere and I'm not able to have my my dedicated time so jewelry is a big one for me and then I hit my books so I love bibliomancy bibliomancy is one of my favorite things to do and this book is incredible this is called daily magic spells and rituals for making the whole year magical by Judica Isles and I love this so much there are every day there are saints in here there is information from all around the world it is very americanized i will say that there's a lot of talk of like voodoo and things like that in here which obviously is not part of my practice however i have sometimes read about say somebody who is from another say an american saint and if they've touched me i will light a candle on my altar for them just to say like you know i'm dedicating this candle to you and just remembering you i think that's really nice and it has broadened my scope of saints and angels and things like that so i've got a lot of information out of this so i just read that day's entry and then we do daily guidance again this is Doreen Virtue she did a lot of information about angels and if you work with angels and archangels you will find a lot of the stuff you have to go with is Doreen Virtue there's nothing you can do about it that is just the way it is but this is a beautiful book and I just you know pick a random page and read it there's some beautiful illustrations in here as well and then I just leave the page marked so again I can go back to it for that day but it's just a gorgeous book it's just a really really beautiful book and I really really appreciate having this book in my life I've managed to thrift this so I didn't even pay full price for it I think I got it for like two pound or something but it's a beautiful book and really lovely to just pick a page and see what the angels want to tell me so Doreen Virtual daily guidance from your angels and that's 365 days and then the last thing i do is a meditation this is usually anything between five minutes and 20 minutes i lie on my bed and i will just meditate i use an app called oh my goodness what is it called oh my brain my brain insight timer i use insight timer it's a really great free app and it has so much stuff it has wheel of the year stuff it has witchy stuff it has a lot of ancestor stuff on there it has stuff for diana and hecate on there not too much because it's like a spiritual app rather than a witchcraft app but i still love that you know we're in there i just really love it there's a lot on there for chronic pain and fatigue which i struggle with every single day so it's just really nice to have these beautiful moments where i can just lie down on my bed and just breathe and just get transported away i do some shamanic work on there as well so i do some journeys and things like that so it's just a really great app i'll leave a link to it down below i've mentioned them before not sponsored I just really like the app <laughs> so go and check it out it's free and that's it that's my daily practice and then in the evening I light my candles again for my deities on my altar I have little fairy lights that go all around my altar and I like those and because I like to feel the energy I like to lie in bed and watch some tv or watch my youtube videos and relax and feel the protection of my gods and my ancestors just filling the room and making it feel safe it's like a little cocoon of safety and it's really pretty the lights shining on the walls it's just gorgeous so yeah i love doing that and that's my daily practice if you go and check out chaotic witch aunt's video which again link is down below if you go and check that out you'll find that her practice is very different to mine it's completely different and that's what i love i love hearing other people's daily practice because it's going to be different to mine so definitely go and check out her video and 
don't forget to leave me a comment let me know down below what your practice is what do you do every day that's part of your craft and tell me if you don't do a daily practice because there's no rules if you don't have time or don't feel called to have a daily practice you don't need to have a daily practice it's just me i just like spending some time there but i'm not there every single day because you know life but yeah leave me a comment let me know your daily practice let me know the sorts of things that you do how different is my practice from your practice let's get chatting down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to head down below and leave this video a cheeky little like because it makes my little heart happy and it lets me know that you've enjoyed my content as well as letting other people know that it's a good video and helping my channel to grow. So definitely leave me a little like. And last but certainly not least, if you like my content and you like my face, don't forget to head down below click that subscribe button, ring that little bell, so you always know when I upload. I am usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I always do my very best to be here with you every week, twice a week. Take care everyone, I hope you have a really wonderful magical week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!